comedian extraordinaire special. K, what up, man? Hey, man. Uh, congratulations, man, on your uh, 34th anniversary of doing stand-up comedy, man. Damn. Man. Yeah, man. Damn. A beautiful thing, dog. That's and, a and, long and, time, man. And, and the crazy thing about it, I, I remember that day. I remember that day like it was yesterday, man. I couldn't even sleep that night. That was going to be my first time going on stage. That's awesome. I will but, never forget it. And, and and I just want to give some people some perspective on how long 34 years is, okay? Yeah. Because I don't think y'all realize how long 34 <laughs> years is. In November 1989, 30, uh, uh, 34 years ago, minimum wage was three thirty-five an hour. It sure <laughs> was. In night, and I was making it. In 1989, Nick Cannon was only nine years old and only had one child at the time. <laughs> Ricky Smiley's comedy career is older than T-Mobile, Metro PCS, McDonald's Chicken Sandwich, and Wendy's 4 for 4. Come on, man. <laughs> the hottest show on TV in November 89 was the Arsenio Hall show, and it had only been on for less than a year. Yep. Wow. This is how long, yep. this is how long you've been doing comedy. In 1989, Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, was the fifth pick overall drafted to the Atlanta Falcons, and they've been sorry yeah. ever since. <laughs> the number one song in 1989 was Surface, You Are My Everything. Yes, sir. It yeah. would be five years before Functified by the Brat would hit the charts. Damn, Brat. <laughs> Ricky Smiley comedy career is older than the top 10 NFL quarterbacks. When Ricky Smiley started stand-up, Ebony and Jet magazines were still lined up on coffee tables in black homes across America. Y'all remember when and, and the beauty of the week. Used yeah. to stack them bad boys up and spread them yes, out and sir. fan them out. Yeah. Come on, man. In 1989, Beyonce had just turned eight years old. Man. Oh, yeah. And she was two years away from being fine. In 1989, we're shoot. Okay, that, that was kind of creepy. In 1989. <laughs> <laughs> we paused on that. You hey, was on your own on that. Yeah, that don't make no sense. I, hey, my oh, math my didn't God. my math didn't work out it on that sure one. Sure didn't, right. didn't need that. Hey, hey, well, how about this? In 1989, we're not sure where Rock T was. We just know he was somewhere being very happy. <laughs> right. And nice. <laughs> he was somewhere smiling and, and eating friendly. candy. The average price for a gallon of gas in, the, in 1989 was $1. Yep. 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 Not only was social media not a thing, Zuckerberg was in kindergarten in November 1989. Huh. Damn. Tom Joyner was the number one afternoon drive jock on WGCI in Chicago in 1989. Damn. Comedian George Wallace was turning 60 in 1989. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's about 115 now. <laughs> Our very own Gary with the T was still working at Wendy's and was still smashing women in 1989. <laughs> yep. I mean, they were tearing them up from what I heard yeah. down in Houston. And finally, finally, <laughs> speaking of Gary, the number of gay men in Atlanta in 1989 was approximately 14. <laughs> that number has grown to approximately 1,748,853 oh. today. Is that they all? Multiply, they multiply. <laughs> they multiply like gremlins. Gremlins. <laughs> Man!